the folks say brilliant. 1960 Urkel. English, walnut, and maple, mid-century dinette. Brilliant, perfect, spectacular. Let's go through it. So first of all, you may have never heard of Urkel. E-R-C-O-L. They're actually still in business. You can go on Google and Wikipedia. And they're a premium furniture manufacturer that's gone through several iterations over the years. Uh, these were made in England in 1960, and uh, people of means over here on, in the colonies would import their wares. Uh, synonymous mid-century styling, you know, you, at first glance you might think this is a, like one of your standard hoopback uh, uh, oak sets that you see, but actually it's the, uh, once you investigate the chairs a little further, and I'll do some pictures, you can see the actual, these, these chairs are actually uh, wonders of engineering. And what I mean by that is that they're very delicate in regard to uh, how they're put together, but they're incredibly stable and incredibly strong. All sporting solid walnut seats with uh, maple um, a skeleton, so I mean all the spindles, that's all maple, and then feeding into a, a, a walnut base. Peg design, or peg uh, construction, there's no nails in the whole thing. It's, uh, again, a uh, really a work of uh, excellent engineering, and again, once you come to buy them, you'll see what I'm talking about. You say, I mean, I'm a fairly robust shop myself, and I can sit on these chairs quite comfortably, and it's actually, <laughs> it's very surprising. The table itself is brilliant. Uh, it's again walnut top, just like the chairs with, with maple skeleton. And it's currently in its expanded state. I'm going to show you the table without the leaf in it and with. Currently in its expanded state, it's uh, 88 inches, uh, 33 inches wide at its widest point because there's a bit of an oval to it, and uh, 28 high. And you can, uh, and it has a center support there, which you know, usually when you get a mid-century table, again, a lot of you can refer to like the teak furniture you see out there. They don't have a lot of support in the middle, and so when you expand them, they tend to sag. And having that center support there does add um, that stability that you want in your t in your table. But again, perfect. And I've, I've just got the chairs set on top here, delicately. They're not affecting the finish. And uh, again, I'm going to do some photography so you can see just how wonderfully unique and special this set is. Of course, if you're looking at a dinette, uh, you may look at this for your dining room, depending on your decor, or you may um, want to have it as something that um, is uh, like in a kitchen or something. The expandability of the table works well, but again, we're going to go through and examine the chairs, the table in its expanded state, and then uh, we'll wrap it all up. So let's do that. And here we have the dining table on its own. Uh, again, it is a combination of the walnut and the maple. Uh, synonymous mid-century styling and made by Urkel, which you'll never find an Urkel table, actually. Again, as I said, because made in England. Let's take a look. So the table itself, nice, rich walnut, textured together, and, uh, you know, it's got nice, nice abutments here as it comes together, and there's also two leaves. 60 inches from side to side. 34 at its deepest and 30 inches high. And the leaves, which I'll pause the video now so you can see that, expanded even more. And here's the whole table with the leaves in. Now again, you'll notice that center support is present uh, when the table's collapsed as well, and you don't see it when the chairs are under the table. If you never expand the table, you could take the center support out. But a lot of the mid-century tables, because they're so minimalist, and they don't have the support in the center, is a valuable feature of the table because it just makes the table very, very stable instead of rickety and, and having the potential to bow. But again, the leaves go right in there. Nice. And again, the nice walnut is very attractive, uh, contrasting against the maple uh, legs of the table. And you see the, the sculpted sides around here. You know, if you look at the angle, I'll take some photos as well. But if you look at the angle, it's very attractive and it's uh, the way it lays out. And, uh, you know, it's that mid-century style that everybody loves, and uh, this table is top, top flight. You know, again, purchased originally at incredible cost and maintained over the years, and, uh, you know, high, high, high demand. Anyway, we'll take a look at the whole set. A quick point of note about the leaf is that it actually is, uh, there are two leaves, but they're actually joined together by a nice, let's see if I can do this with one hand, excuse me, I set you down. <laughs> A nice hinging system. I've got the uh, leaf here on the table. 
and the leaves are actually stored inside the table. We're going to investigate underneath the table so you can see the quality of the superstructure, but you can see that the table is very well engineered, nice solid run, uh, uh, runners, and uh, you know, well put together. And it's important to know this table, despite its delicate demeanor, very stable. Anyway, let's take a look underneath. And here's the underside of the table, you guys, just so you can see the quality of the construction on the nice, you know, engineered wood sliders. And of course, the leaf is stored underneath and very convenient and, you know, again, very high quality. The kind of thing you get, I mean, let's face it, in 1960, if things were being made in England, they were top flight. So, what can I say? Let's take a look at the rest. And so there you have it. It's really a, a unique interesting you know if you're one of those folks who's been looking at a teak table set um, this arguably is superior to that in as much as with the uh, the way it's laid out with the, the combination of the maple and the uh, walnut uh, walnut being a much harder wood than teak uh, you know looks really good the synonymous mid-century styling and uh, the overall nick of this set in comparison to the cost of what you pay for an equivalent teak set just a really nice setup. Again, study the pictures, they're going to be higher quality in this video. It's going to sell quick because there's a lot of people out there who have a lot of good taste. And if you're one of them, well, congratulations. Send me a text, email, or phone call, and I'll sell it to you. Thanks, guys.